Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you a point of sale application, which is also called a retail post application. So uh, let me say first, if you want this application, you can contact me via through WhatsApp, Facebook, or anything. I will provide the link in description or my WhatsApp number in description. So if you need this application, you can contact me. And so let's start it. So first of all, this is the dashboard of this application. It's very simple application, and it's now totally all the data is applying. So this is the purchase module. I have yeah, this retail post is connected with accounts. So you, you can manage many accounts and also sales purchase everything in this application. You don't need anything else. All in one application. So let me show you the purchase module. This is the purchase module. From here you can purchase your replicate uh, purchase product from your supplier. Let's say my uh, I'm selecting a supplier as submit and reference from as a not not giving reference now don't have to give order now you can add terms or reference now as you need i'm not giving anything so from here i'm choosing my item currently i have these items so i can 15 pro max so i'm taking all of them in stock for testing purpose so i'm taking all of them at 15 quantity each so after giving the quantity you have to click save so you can see there is the amount updated so if you if you have extra charges like transport code let's say my transport code is 150 i'm adding i have labor cost to uh, 100 adding then i have to uh, let's say i have tax so i'm adding five percent i'm adding five percent tax okay I don't need to add anything else or if you can add if you have extra charges you can add from here by the clicking the plus icon you can add the charge from here no problem then this is the supplier my information ready so I will click create so my purchase is created so how to check it you have to it is all it is on pending mode you have to check it this on pending if you if I check my stock report you can see it's not still showing nothing in case it is not approved you have to approve it so for approving it you have to go to the purchase order and click on the purchase now from here you can see a report is generated so you have to click the approve by you can see the status is pending the status is waiting so you have to click the approve now it's it's received you can see now you can give the this invoice to the suppliers uh, you can give this invoice to the suppliers or keep yourself you can see the tax is five percent each item my uh, my labor and transfer for my total sum and this is the purchase invoice okay my purchase invoice is ready so let's say in here i have to return one item one item is broken or displacement or something else so i have to return it so i am tagging the purchase now this is the this is the purchase now i'm tagging it so from here which item i want to uh, i want to return is let's say i want to return uh, this item 15 pro max two items so rest of them i will delete it i don't need them i'll delete it so i'll keep only this item and this is the purchase return invoice if you want to add any other information like reference now or anything you can add it so i'm clicking create so my purchase return is also good how to check it you can go to the purchase return from here you, you can see the purchase return is ready uh, you can also get the purchase return invoice from the purchase return list by clicking here you can see the return uh, purchase return invoice which one two quantity yeah the total uh, return amount was this and extra cost that was added this one so return this is that yeah we don't need to approve any purchase return so it is this is the purchase done so let me show you my current stock so my current stock is 73 you can see two two i have returned two then i have 13 from 15 from my rest of them are 50 now i have to sell the items this is the selling modules from here you can go to new sales this is the selling modules you can see yeah it's it's very simple and good looking so from here you can sell any item to any customer let's say if you have a, if you have customers you can add if you don't want to add customers just select cash customers like if you don't want to enter any new customer information just select back from cash customers to cash folder let's say i have customer name like ahmed i'm selecting it and uh, i can see the stock so let's i will say 3 15 pro max okay and i will i'm giving discount of 
two person um, don't need to add tags because tags was i have included first time so the method is cache is selected you can select card method it's your choice but i am selecting cache method so my ready and if you want to pay it by due like let's say uh, my total amount is uh, 352k so let's say i'm paying only 300 then rest of other will be on due amount the other will be on due amount remember that if you pay payment change the payment then other will be this 52 is will be your due amount okay this 52 will be your due amount so i'm making a payment okay my payment done 300 credits total discount and total amount and if uh, the invoice you can generate to customers it will be auto generated from the POS machine you can also you can manually give this to do to the customers that's all problem oh um, okay oh i have one more thing to say you can add manual information also let me show you a new invoice uh, after adding here after adding uh sorry customers after adding details you can also add manual info like uh, remarks turn type manual as unknown if you have other extra information you can add it from here this information tab so i'm not adding it so i have made one in uh, one sales so if i show you the stock currently i now you can see i have sales three so my current customers is closing to 10. let's say from uh, this is the sales invest section you can see turn try cash paid total and if i if customer want to return one item so i have to select uh, come to sales returns and this is the this was the uh, sales order so from here the return quantity i want to return only one because it was it was a broken device so uh, if you can also adjust the payment from here like you can add one uh, uh, different other also adjustment that's not a problem then after here you can click create you can also uh you, you will get also another invoice also return invoice bill okay you can also give this to the customer uh, the customer will uh keep you can also keep this invoice to yourself and this is the sales return list you can see you can also check the invoices and this is it for this for today's video i'll show you only purchase and sales uh, in the next video i will show many more modules i hope you like this video and if i show you the dashboard you can see there are many data loaded you can see uh, the total sales total dues you can see many things the users which was used top cashier top sales test top alert multiple item this is it for today